government was concerned that disease among rural black communities would spread to the white population, they decided to implement several special programs for the Negro. The most ambitious of these programs took place in Macon County, Alabama. The purpose of this committee is to discover the truth about the public health service program commonly called the Tuskegee Study. That's what we all want to say. Good. Now, I understand you worked on the program from the beginning. From the very first in 1932 up until I retired a few years ago, nearly 40 years. Oh, That's longer than I've been in the Senate. <laughs> Tell me, Ms. Evans, how did you feel about the study? Our patients got the best doctrine they ever had in their life. But according to the testimony so far, Miss Evers, there are ways in which this study sounds like some sort of Nazi experiment. It was established at Nuremberg that experimentation you without best informed... You could, whatever. There was an epidemic with all that syphilis going around. Senator, life was always hard in Macon County, but the Depression made it worse. You just have no idea what it was like down there back then. Research took place on the campus of Tuskegee Institute. The study was to record the natural history of syphilis in black people. It was called the Tuskegee Study of Untreated Syphilis in the Negro Male. There were a host of diagnosable ailments, including, but not limited to, anemia and fatigue. 600 men were enrolled in the study. 399 had syphilis, part of the experimental group, and 201 of the men were the control group. Most of the men were poor and illiterate sharecroppers from the country. They were offered many incentives in terms of medical care and survivor's insurance. These incentives included medical exams, rides to and from the clinic, meals and examination days, free treatment for minor ailments, and guaranteed that provisions would be made after their death in terms of burial stipends that would be paid to their survivors. On May 16, 1997, America closed one of the darkest chapters in its history with a single apology. President Clinton made the formal apology on behalf of the federal government. The project denied treatment to men with syphilis, and the president says their lives were trampled on. Carter Howard and Frederick Moss, Charlie Pollard and Fred Simmons, and Herman Shaw at the White House to hear words overdue. To the survivors, to the wives and family members, the children and the grandchildren, I say what you know. No power on earth can give you back the lives lost, the pain suffered, the years of internal torment and anguish. What was done cannot be undone, but we can end the silence. We can stop turning our heads away. We can look at you in the eye and finally say on behalf of the American people, what the United States government did was shameful and I am sorry.